man. You guys are going to love this shit, man. I got a real I got a real a real guy on the phone, man. You're going to you're not going to believe what what I got for you guys. Right? So so the theory about the rat lines, you know, there's a fucking shit about the rat lines, all the rat lines, how drugs move one way and and uh and uh you know, the weapons move the other way, you know, you got that you got that conspiracy theorist with the white phosphorus. So we're going to try to uh we're going to try to solve uh some of that we have a, a this is a this is an expert witness expert guy on the phone his name is uh, Vinny tugboat and uh he's he's his credentials are 100 percent. so we'll bring him in and we're gonna just have a discussion we'll ask him we'll pick his head you know we're gonna pick his head about the rat lines so uh Vinny tugboat you there mate hey uh, how you doing Conti? Yeah, so this is my this is my man Vinny tugboat so Vinny tugboat you sound like you're from new york man you're from new york man? yeah born and raised born and raised yeah, so so, so just give us a background, man. Tell me, you know, like, tell us about uh, your. So, your you work, you work on a tugboat, right? Or is that yep, is thirty that, years? Thirty years on a tugboat. Thirty years. Thirty years. Three zero. Three zero. Yes, three. And you've been mostly mostly on the East Coast, New York. I I, I think you were in Philadelphia too, right? You did the ports. Oh, uh, New York, Philly, Boston, Virginia, Florida. The Holy Coast, Maine. All right. So, so let me, I'll just give you a background on what 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 I'm trying to find out. And what the, the people listening to this want to know is that there's this there's this theory about about rat lines, right? That like for example, if there's a you know a field of opium in Afghanistan, and there's an apartment building in you know in in Bed Stuy, Brooklyn, how would one manufacture heroin or or uh, any other substance and get it, how would that, that opium travel from one direction to the other? Now, the theory is, is what's commonly known as a rat line, right? A rat line, like, you know, it's all the rats in between passing it back and forth until it gets to the other side, right? Like hot potato and the money transfers in between. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of speculation of, of how exactly that happens, and I'm, I'm hoping that you can, uh, you can solve that problem. So... So, um, so you're, so you work on a tugboat. To, I don't know. Tell me about your day. What do you do during the day? What's, what's the average day? Yeah, it's, uh, always been, been, uh, uh, tedium, you know, the, the moment, moment, uh, hours of tedium accented with, uh, moments of terror. You know, it's, uh, it's a very repetitive, you know, you do the same thing all the time. And, uh, every once in a while, you know, the curveball's thrown at you. Right. But uh, these rat lines, you know, in my experience, it's not, uh, it's not feasible. Right, right. So, not, not so, feasible. so you, so you work on a tugboat, and you've been, you, you've like, what do you do? You tug like the the giant cargo ships, you know, those those container ships. Uh, it's a lot of different, a lot of different stuff, but. Mm. But the uh, you know we deal with the we deal with the cargo ships. Have you ever have you ever climbed have you ever climbed up on one like all right so you're in the tugboat you get a call foreign, right foreign. Uh, I don't know what's the difference is foreign and there's uh, domestic. A foreign a foreign ship you, you can't go on. Okay, you're so not, you're not allowed to go on. All right, so if there's a ship coming in from China, right, like a Chinese boat, or you wouldn't step foot. No, you wouldn't step foot on. As because of your. Uh, because your your status is longshoreman, you're not a you're not coast guard or, or any correct, of that. Sh- correct, correct. All right. Correct. So, but but someone can. What are it, what are the chances of someone actually interfering, with that cargo, while it's moving close to to the shore? Like, can a boat? I don't know. Can someone throw a pile of you know pile of something off the boat, or can someone jump on the boat and and access? Uh, jump on the boat? No. Jump on the boat. Can a package of some sort be thrown overboard and retrieved by another boat yeah. that's waiting for the package that absolutely that's absolutely probably the way things are done that's something that can happen right so I, so yeah. prior so okay so 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 talk to me about it. so you're i just want to know before i ask you about about the possibilities of the things we're talking about i want to know that you're that that you that you have an eye on this thing right so so your job like you i i mean i think i I talked to you once before and you said like you go up to cruise ships and you you like suck out the you know the dirty water and the shit water and all that stuff 
you do all kinds of chores on the open Correct. in in the hallway, Correct. right? Right. Correct. What else? What else do you do? What other kind of things? You have a Do you have a fish off the side of a boat? Oh, you know, you do that sometimes. You know, you, right. so, you know, there's a lot of boring. There's a lot of boring. There's a lot of repetition. Uh, a lot of repetition, a lot of boring, a lot of time where you're just going from point A to point B. Right. So you know, yeah, there, there's some fishing. You know, <laughs> in the old days there used to be some drinking, but they've they've kind of curbed on that. Right. Uh, no, no, no gay. There's a rumor of gay sailors. You're not a gay sailor. No, 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 no. No village people. No village people. Nothing like that. No hookers. Not that there's anything wrong. With, not that there's anything no, wrong. No, no, of course not. You know, but just not my experience. Uh, no, no hookers. No hookers on the boat. Uh, it's not on the boat. That's usually frowned upon. But I'm sure okay. guys have gone up the street and uh, spent a couple so, of bucks. So you guys. So you live. Uh, in the course of a day, you're on the boat the whole time, right? Listening to twenty four hours. Twenty four hours on the on the tugboat. Uh, the 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 shifts run from fourteen days on, fourteen days off, all the way to ninety days on, ninety days off. You could be wow. on the boat for you know long time. So you guys cook, you sleep, you yes. eat. Cook, sleep, eat. They're your extended family. How many How many guys on a boat? Uh, it varies, but usually five. Like five people on a boat. So, all right. So you're out there on the you're out there in the harbor, right? And you get a call, and it's a cargo ship, and it's stuck ten miles off of Coney Island, right? And, okay. And right, and you have to you you would take the tugboat out there, and or a team of tugboats, and you would navigate it in or something like that. Is that? Uh, that I guess you know. To get a long do? long story long story short. Uh, help it in, help it, help it move. You know, these things are pretty big. So, you know, we help them make the turns and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes a pilot will, uh, go aboard an, an ex, you know, an exterior, uh, pilot will come aboard because they have something that's called recency, which you need to have. Recency is, you know, you know, the, you know, the, the channel, you know, the, you know, you know your way around the harbor, okay. and obviously, someone from you know, you know, five thousand miles away that doesn't know where you know where it's safe to be and where it's not safe to be. So they'll hire a pilot that comes on board and and actually steers the ship or tells the wheelman of the ship which way he wants him to go, and they listen to him and will be alongside helping them along the way. Gotcha, man. So, so you made a distinction between, I guess, domestic boat and a foreign boat, right? There's two different types, two different calibers of cargo right. ship, right? All right? So, so a domestic boat isn't subjected to customs, right? So they can just come in and and that's that's like a lower a lower standard. Well, because or? of the because of the Jones Act, right. the Jones Act to protect uh, American shipping. Right. A foreign ship cannot go from port to port and deliver okay. goods. Okay. They can come to one port, deliver their goods, and then the American ships would take over and move it from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E. Okay. All right. So I guess what we're we're talking about is the foreign the foreign ship coming in, because that's really what the game is, right? It's the foreign ship. If we are to, to talk about a rat line and and you know, uh, five hundred pounds of heroin coming in, uh, or or more, or or some some sort of contraband coming in, or or a pile of uh, you know weapons going out. We would be talking about a foreign ship. So let's let's stay there. So a foreign ship comes into the port. We use I don't know, port of Newark, for example, right? And a big old ship with how many cargo ships are on? How many containers are on one of those boats when you see it loaded up like that? Hundreds and hundreds. Wow. So so that big boat comes in. It comes into the harbor. Say it's coming from Middle East, right? And yes. it's coming from the Middle East, and it's there it is. And you're saying that 10, 15 miles offshore, people could chuck stuff off of that boat, and they, you know, and another boat can get on side of it, and that could go undetected by the Coast Guard or the military? The, yeah, theoretically, theoretically, yes. In the Depending on the, scope, on the scope of things, yes. So, so the boat now the boat's under the Verrazano Bridge, right? It's coming into Port of Newark, right? It's cu cu cruising up the harbor. Now there's a lot of eyeballs on it. The NYPD boats are floating around, right? So that's that's less likely. Now the boat, Absolutely. 
that's less likely, right? So the boat enters. That boat, because it's foreign, is off limits to the Coast Guard as well? No, no, the Coast Guard, they can go wherever they want. Coast Guard can go wherever they want. Military, pol- NYPD can board a, a boat like that? Or, you know, local, uh, local authority? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay, so the boat is now sailing into the, is cruising into the, the port of Newark, right? And now it's going to enter customs, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to go into a, an area, a controlled area of some sort, right? It would have to, right? Correct. Okay, so have you so have you ever seen that, or you ever been around it? Is it is it safe to say that you would have you would know what goes on in a scene like that, or at least heard people talking about it? Yes, absolutely. All right, so you know what you're talking about. You know what you're seeing. All right. So now I want to I want to bring in a, a like a subject. Have you ever heard of something called a diplomatic container? All right. Ever heard of that? No. Never heard of a diplomatic container. Never. Something that would be diplomatic, meaning like a diplomatic envelope, where a guy, like a diplomat, no. never heard of it in 30 years no. on the job. Never heard of diplomatic. Never. Okay. Have you ever heard the expression rat line in 30 years? Oh, I've heard the expression rat line, but not used in this, in this way. How, how have you heard it? We'll, we'll come back to this. Uh, the, only, the only context I have of rat lines is after World War II, there were rat lines that got uh, Nazi criminals from Europe to mm-hmm. South America. So a human traffic rat line. Right. Because right. there is speculation that there's children, like pedophilia rat lines. But, uh, I, I mean, what's the ch- Okay, that's a good question. What's the chances of one of those cargo ships being a, uh, you know, a, a, a low-grade hotel or motel room where... You know, you could stuff ten bodies in there, and they could last for thirty days. Is that even? Is that even? Is that wild idea that it, there could be human trafficking in those cargo ships? Uh, I think. I think long. I think well, not long ago. I mean, you know, twenty-five years ago, probably today, right. not so much now. Okay, so so a ship comes in. Let's go back to the. Uh, let's go back to customs. A ship comes in. And let's just say that nobody met it offshore, right? Because that's that's right out in the open, right? There is no every everything on a foreign ship coming into a, a U.S. port is subject to customs, correct? Scrutinized. Scrutinized. How how yeah. much so? Like every box, every every piece of I'm, fucking. I'm sure every box that comes off is scrutinized. Every, and because of this day and age, there's probably things we don't even see. Right. And who's you know, doing? Nobody's, Mm-hmm. Nobody's nobody's sneaking a nuclear bomb in a shipping container into New York City. Not gonna, not gonna happen. Happening. That's not gonna, not happen. gonna happen. So anything radioactive, not gonna how how not how far out ashore would they detect something that's that's nuclear? Would it get into I the port? Venture, I, I couldn't venture to get. No, I don't believe they'd be able to get into the port. I, I, I think I think our, there's there's things we don't know about. Okay. That 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 are so. Who do you, in 30 years... Look, if they, I, mm, okay. you got to look at it like this, mm-hmm. Gandhi. Go you got to look at it like this. If they could have, they would have. No, nah, good point. Okay, so... So they... And they can't. So they don't. Right. You know, right. It, it, now, it, who... There's, there's all right, who's behind, who's behind that surveillance? Is it the NSA? Is it the military? Is it a combination of the both? Of the or all, all of the above. Okay, so they're they're operating... There's forces operating to, to prevent something like that, right? And right. if uh, and if something were and if something were to slip in, it would be overlooked by those agencies. Is that also safe to say? Like, the only way to get something like a carload of heroin, you know, a car with a trunk load of heroin into a port undetected would have to be somebody. Somebody in the in somebody of authority in customs, some sort of U.S. official would have to approve that. Is that is that kind of what we're talking uh, about? I would say possibly. Okay. But 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 it's you got to understand the the the, the area. You got to right. understand the mentality. You got to understand the situation. Right. It would be very difficult to keep that. Under a, under a wrap, 
it'd be very difficult. There's too many ice. There's too many people. Just just human nature jockeying for position. Right. You know, to, to, it's just not. It's not. It's not feasible. Not feasible. Not and so. Feasible. So so there what is. What is feasible? Mm-hmm. What is feasible is 25 miles offshore. Gotcha. A ship throws something over the side, and then another boat comes and picks it up and brings it to a dock in a uh, a, a you know, private you know yeah yachting yeah yeah. Dock you said twenty. You said way. twenty-five miles. What's what's the international line? It's that that would be international water. Twenty miles. What's the? Yeah, you'd be you know you know in the middle of the night, twenty-five miles out there, a little boat. No one's you know. No one's no going to see gonna, it. No one's. No one's going to see something that way. Like, like, what were you mm, saying? Very interesting. A hundred, hundred, hundred pounds of heroin. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and it have to be big enough to float. So you know. What about the? To, okay. What about the loading in on the other side? That's not subject to customs, right? That you could just people could just load that sh- that boat up or whatever they want on one side. In the other, you're talking about in the other countries. In the other countries, yeah. Who well, God only knows, right? That would be that's a that's a wild card. What goes? I mean, in go- another co- I mean, we're talking about we're talking about some countries where you know someone makes you know ten dollars a day. Right, right. Of course. You know, someone walks up to that person that makes ten dollars a day and says, "I'm going to give you a hundred dollars a week." Right. Gotcha. You know, uh-huh. to uh-huh. to let my to let my truck unload into the ship. You know. Uh, right. So. <laughs> That's, that's a lot of money. Okay, so gotcha, man. So, so some some jerk on the other side could put in a couple of bags of something, some sort of cargo, some kind of waterproof cargo, and when they got twenty five miles off the coast of New Jersey, they could fling it onto a boat, and if it's a smooth operation and they they know the waters and they know how to navigate, that is a possibility that 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 is something that could happen. Yes. But okay. That, that I- that that could I, mean, I, I believe I believe uh, I believe things have washed up on right. the beaches over the years. I mean, if we dug back and read some, looked at some newspaper archives, we could find you know, we could find some bales of bales of uh, a leafy substance washing up on certain beaches of uh, right. the New York uh, waterway. But what's one hundred percent in your estimation is that. There's no such thing as a cargo and diplomatic container. Not whether, in my experience. Not, not in your never, experience. Never. This is the first I've ever heard of the term. In 30 years. And you've never seen any cargo go unchecked by... by no. There's no way never. around customs. Never. No fucking way, right? Guns no drawn way. if somebody tries to do that, right? Guns drawn? Yeah, probably. Guns drawn. Have Probably. you ever seen? Have you ever seen in your in your thirty years guns drawn where, where the coast guard goes on a boat or, whatever forces go on a boat and not take drawn, it? Not drawn, not drawn, but definitely around. Surrounded by gunships. Not surrounded by gun. Not surrounded might be a strong term, but uh, definitely they're definitely there in the area. Okay. So yeah. so so the other the other thing you you had mentioned I think in another conversation you talked about that the the one force the one element of this that is immune to any kind of search is the military correct well higher up higher up military a military, military ship with military cargo yeah not not touchable they're, they're gonna police they're gonna police themselves they police themselves so so an army ship Army caliber ship, militarily marked, comes sailing. US Navy, right, right. Navy comes in. Okay, the Navy comes, even on like Fleet Week, some some wacky shit like that. The Fleet Week. I guess so. Yeah, any any knows. military, any military boat. Okay, so a military boat yeah. comes in, and they wouldn't be subjected to cargo or or uh, customs. I'm sorry, customs or any of that stuff, right? No, not at all. So that's really not what we're talking about. What we're, what we're trying to understand is, and, you, you know, um, Vinny, you've been like, like incredible. You have no idea the light you're shining on this right now, right, to the audience that's listening to this. Because there's long been, it's long been uh, conspirized that rat lines operate through cargo ships through something called diplomatic immunity. And 
in, you're here to tell us as an expert that that is just it's nothing that you've ever heard of, seen, nothing, or, or believe I've, that. This or, is the only time, ne- the only time I've ever heard of it. There's, it, it just, right. it, I've never heard of, of a diplomatic container. That is, never. And and every every single bit of that, every single bit of that boat is is uh, is is subject to customs. Anything that they want to like take off, yes. Let me ask you a question. So, so I think I, I think I've got everything. Oh, that I, I just thought of something. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. Ra- something, and and then we're talking about if we're talking about drugs, right? And we're talking about large quantities of things with gunpowder. Yeah. You also have dogs. There's dogs that are trained to smell this stuff. From I once asked uh, an agent. Yeah. Between you and me, how close would I be able to get? To that and he dog? pointed about he pointed about forty yards away and said he'd start acting up as soon as you turn the corner right there. So no, so the dog, you're not. There's dogs. There's unseen kind of equipment that could detect That's anything. Right, exactly. Radar. There's exactly. there's there's dogs' noses there's on the ground. Walking there's people around. walking there's around. People, there's people walking around with dogs just walking around the containers. Right. And and that that other element of twenty five miles offshore that would clearly be a some sort of black market some sort of mob right. operation not not something Probably. that's that's sanctioned by any government or anything anything remotely probably not all right so what else what in this conversation so far what am I what what am I not is there anything that I'm not seeing like oh man I wish you would ask me this is there anything like that that no, I think you're you're hitting all your points. Hitting the points, all right. All right. You're hitting the points. You're, you're hitting all. You're asking all the right questions, Dr. Conti. All right. So it seems like you know because because this you know this takes the air out of a theory of rat lines. How exactly this? How these substances move? You know because most people think like like you know all right. So you see the story on the news and and a guy gets on a plane and he's got all these bags. You know taped to his body and he's on a commercial plane and we've all we yeah, all that's not that's that's not happening right we all know that story we all know that story uh from the news I mean, but you could try you could try it but you're gonna get caught it's not gonna you're not gonna it's not gonna happen because of the dog because of the the sophistication because of everything because of everything everything, everything working everything, at once. everything everything combined the odds are so it wouldn't be a financial windfall for anyone doing such a thing. It, 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 what they would get in compared to what got caught. Right. You know, the, the, you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Maybe, maybe, maybe 19 times out of 20. Wow, Vinny, man. All right, I, I think I got it. I got it all, man. I think we're at. Let's see, we're at twenty, twenty three oh, minutes. Great, man. great, great, great talking to you, Conti. Good, great man. Talk. So anytime, any kind of question. Yeah, well, we're and gonna. You're welcome, to, and you're welcome to come on. Maybe one day you come out on the boat with us, and we'll. I, I like that. I get seasick. Take a, take a look, right? I get seasick, man. But I'll try. I'll come out. I'll check out the boats. So yeah, you know, no, we'll, you'll be fine. We'll put this up, and we'll see. You know, there's a there's a huge audience for this, and we'll see what. Um, We'll see what they come back, and uh, I'll, you know. So, if you're watching this, if you have uh, questions of any tugboat, and you wanna, you wanna ask him something that maybe I missed, drop it in the comment section down below, and we'll maybe you know, Vinny, you know, Vinny's a busy guy, and he um, works long hours, and we'll ask him one more time. You know, we'll pick his head one more time. But again, thirty year, thirty year longshoreman guy, tugboats, he concludes that there is no. There's no diplomatic container. Chances of getting radioactive weaponry through the harbors of of our our country impossible without detection. Can they fling something off a boat? Well, he said it's possible, but not probable based on the based on the the sheer facts and the the the, the, the potential of getting caught. Right, and the existence of a of diplomatic containers. Totally off the off the table. Thirty years, never heard of it. All right, so I'm gonna let you go, Vinny Tugboat. Thank you so much for your time, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna, thank you for thank you for having me on your show. Uh, let me. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs>